I already love this. Yes, I already absolutely. love this. I'm gonna guess the Greninja's name is Dr. Keen. Don't know quite yet. And uh, the Roy, Greninja. probably his tag isn't relaxed, but I like that he's using that tag. People, um, like, ask how do I deal with nerves? One, one, one good ti uh, tidbit is to use a tag that will remind you in game to kind of relax, to take a breathe, like you can write breathe, relax, patience, I see, uh, I see, stuff uh, like that. Well, we're gonna buzz. get into game number one here on Final Destination between Dr. Keen and Roast Meat. Roast Meat. Oh uh, yeah, these are definitely two players, guys. Yeah, and uh, they're kind of just dancing around the neutral right there. Uh, most of the damage coming out from Relax with the uh, double-edged dance. He actually did so much shield damage on Greninja. Percent's looking kind of even right now with Roast oh. Beef in the lead slightly. Oy. Beautiful yeah. back air sending Ro uh, Dr. King off stage. Setting up for these ledge traps yet again. He's got him stuck at the ledge now. Yeah, that uh, forward air from Greninja. Oh, Ooh. my oh. lord. Just reading Dr. Keen like a book, relaxed. I'm sorry, Rose Beef relaxing and uh, just waiting for him to get up off the ledge with the jump and hit him with the forward smash. Yeah, he's so actually ledge trapping. Yeah. And it looks like he's going to be putting in himself into another position to do it again. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what he's going to want to do throughout the match. Roy has such good ledge trapping tools, and he can definitely, um, you know, go out and edge guard you. He does have a sword after all. These joints are going to be really good for that. Side B. Yep. Oh my god, side B is yep. so powerful. Oh. oh god. Had to land on the stage improperly. Gets another forward smash to the face. He's not gonna kill, Wait. but what will kill is that neutral B. Uh forgive me. I forget what that move is called. I'm gonna look it up right now. But relax. Relax, Rose Beef. You're on the verge of a three stock right now. Ah, so it was a double meaning, I see. Yeah, I'm gonna tell myself to relax. I don't wanna get too kooky on these people. No, he's doing it. Oh, okay. Yeah, trying to punish with the up smash. I mean, Dr. King did have an option, but up smash was definitely not the one to use. I would say, like, down tilt. Down tilt is one of his best moments. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, we got a stock. Dr. Keen on the board now and using the Hydro Pump to club up that uh, up beat from Roy. All right, and I like that he just kind of halted that side B, just like right at the second one. Not really trying to get too overzealous with it. Yeah, that's what you call a hit confirm. Oh, okay, whipping that grab. Not entirely sure how that'll happen. Yeah, he went for neither uh, like immediate grab afterwards. There is um, okay, gentle edge guard here from Dr. King, or excuse me, Roast Beef. I really do like what I'm seeing here from uh, Roast Beef. Yeah. Rose Beef, what, what are we seeing from Rose Beef that you like so much? I like that he's really actually utilizing his space whenever he puts Dr. Keen off on the edge. Oh! Nice! The cross-up landing behind Dr. Keen and hitting another oh, forward nice. smash to get that kill. Rose Beef moving up a game in this set. And uh, one thing that I, I would like to see more from Dr. Keen is I actually didn't see a single Water Shuriken come out from him. Oh. And that's such a good tool in neutral, especially to provide yourself space. I, I mean, it's a zoning tool, right? You force your opponent to come up with it. And it's not going to matter because he's going to switch over to the Fox. He thinks, you know what? I don't need projectiles. I need better frame data. Yeah, and it's not like uh, Greninja is anything to laugh at either. No. That is a Smash Encyclopedia. It is, is, good it stuff. is a Smash book. I'm trying to, what was the move I was trying to look up again? Neutral B. Yeah, neutral B, yeah. Alright, Fox. This is kind of an interesting matchup. I feel like these are both really very quick characters that want to get in your face at all times. And the, when I look at Roy having a sword, I see a slight advantage to him. Why is that? Because he has a sword, he has a disjoint. He's able to basically space Fox out a little better. For sure, definitely very true. Um, the eight percents are pretty even right now, so it's not going to be the case. Uh, I do think that the switch to Fox is not a bad idea because he's going to be able to close the distance a lot more and he wasn't using neutral B, he, so Ooh. he's the type of player who probably doesn't like to go so much. This, this is a better character if, that, if that's the case. Oh, okay. It's, it's Fox's up B. It's still pretty good. 
Yeah, it's still pretty good, uh, despite Rose Beef not really like going on. He could have gone off stage to hit him with a backer, force a tech situation, and possibly get an early stock. He's gonna do so anyways. Uh, only 95% on Rose Beef. That was a really nice uh, reverse landing up air. Ah, uh, but he caught that up smash to the chin. Yeah, relax. Good up tilt. Right into the up smash, too? Man, he was feeling himself. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, down tilt, catching the illusion. Forced to uh, raise his up B. Not gonna get an edge guard, though. All right, Dr. Keen coming back with his grab, catching the landing, getting some up tilts. Back air sending Dr. Keen off stage. Really oh, cool stuff. God, that was not a great angle to go at. I mean, he was a little scared. He was like, I need to go above Rose Beef so that he doesn't hit me. But I mean, with Rose Beef already on the stage, all he had to do was react. Hit him with the forward smash again. I, I feel like it's been like, like That's at a least lot of four, four or five stocks at a, at a forward smash. I was going to say, like a majority of these kills have been from forward smash. Yeah. Yeah, that really tells you a lot about where you're putting yourself in control. For, for sure. sure. And for Dr. Keen, Dr. Keen's case is the fact that he's uh, not recovering properly and landing on the stage with a lot of lag. I don't even think that he's not recovering properly. I think it's when he gets onto the ledge using his options to get back into the center. Like, he gets to the ledge just fine, but uh, it's a matter of actually holding himself on to take that. Is that six? <laughs> Another one, dude. Is that six? I don't think it was six. Five. It was at least five. <laughs> I'm not sure if it was six, but it was definitely. At least four. <laughs> Can you? Four to five forward smash kills. Can you show everybody that uh, that huge tome that you just whipped out? I'd love to. Uh, I'd love for everybody to know that that exists because oh, no. I'm completely new to that. This tweet didn't didn't send. Uh, yeah. So what you're talking about is this uh, Super Smash Brothers strategy guide. I guess 